New information tonight about a human sex trafficking investigation in Gainesville. We've now learned this is not the first time these two men have been arrested on the same charge. The suspects have been identified as 20-year-old Kavarius King and 35-year-old Justin Hoyt. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live from Gainesville, where police say the men used a business as a front for prostitution. Eric? Yeah, Joy, there is a lot to dissect in this investigation, and according to police, it all centers on this home located at the corner of Northwest 31st Avenue and Northwest 12th Terrace. Uh, it's called the Hans Group Home and is advertised online as a business that offers services to the homeless, but police say it was a front for prostitution. Online records show the business is owned by 20-year-old Kavarius King, who is one of the suspects facing human sex trafficking charges. The other suspect is 25-year-old Justin Hoyt, whom we've learned is a convicted sex offender. Police say the pair forced a homeless victim into prostitution and arranged meetings with men inside the group home where the victim was being kept. The victim reportedly had sex with dozens of men against her will and told police the sex acts were so disgusting that there were times when she would vomit. Police say it all came to an end just days ago when one of the customers allegedly forced illegal narcotics down the victim's throat. The victim says it caused her to have seizures and then fall unconscious. Now, now, police say while still unconscious, the woman was driven from the home to a library outside the city where she was dropped off. She told library staff she was a victim of sex trafficking and asked them to call 911. Now, when police searched this home and the suspect's car, they say they found evidence that backed up the woman's story. Uh, police also say the two men were suspects in a previous uh, sex trafficking investigation at the same home just six months ago. Uh, this means that there may be more victims. Of course, uh, we are working to get more information uh, on that angle for an update later tonight. Reporting live in Gainesville, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, a question for you. What's the current status for those two suspects? Yeah, both men remain in jail on a $250,000 bond, and they are possibly facing more charges because, get this, this investigation is far from over. All right, Eric Avenier reporting live for us tonight. Eric, thanks.